Hi Pisces, welcome back. It's your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for Pisces. Three cards for Pisces for June 2023. Pisces, June 2023. Pisces, June. We have three of Pentacles. Hold on, guys. Let me see. I might put on some more light. Can you guys hold while I go do that? Did you guys go grab some snacks? I keep thinking about snacks, so I don't know. <laughs> All right, Pisces, I'm back. All right, here we go. So, yeah, you guys could be getting good news at work or in a group setting or something like that. Something could be coming to a lot of people at once. I'm thinking family members or something. I don't know what you guys are into, but it could be good news coming in for a family or a group of people. Two more cards for Pisces, June 2023. Two more cards for Pisces, June 2023. Here they are. All right, Taurus energy. We have the Hierophant coming out with the Five of Pentacles. I will pull one more card. Those two, I'm going to read those together, guys. Hmm. A lot of major arcana. You got the devil and justice at the, um, when I looked at two of the splitting decks, the devil and justice. Is surrounding the high priestess and the five of pentacles coming out someone definitely might come out of a lack of financial lack through a marriage okay pisces one more card for pisces june 2023 okay you're getting into a marriage it's going to make your financial situation better june, june 2023 pisces queen of swords at the bottom of the deck, Eight of Swords. So right now, that's what I'm saying. Pisces, you might feel a little trapped, a little stuck. You might feel like you can't get nowhere right now or something like that. It might be, yeah, for some of you guys, it might be a slight problem in a marriage, okay? With the Hierophant next to the Five of Pentacles, they did come out together. Someone might be divorcing. Someone might be leaving a situation, okay? So take it as a plot. This may or may not resonate with everybody. But someone's definitely could be living together and then actually divorcing and someone's moving out or both are moving out. Someone could be leaving a home situation after a divorce or something like that's going on, okay? Someone could feel stuck. Pisces, take it as a apply. Someone could be feeling stuck. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Remember the Eight of Swords doesn't necessarily mean you're stuck, okay? It can also mean um, you could just physically feel that way. If it's not physically, Pisces, it's mental, okay? So you could be mentally trapped, mentally stuck, mentally not seeing what's ahead of you. You could feel like you don't know what to do next, okay, guys? I feel confused fuse right now all right and they keep showing me um they're pointing me up to here like it's the bandage just a, around her not you know not a bandage um it's the tie around her her eyes something is just you you might you know it's like you're someone could be overthinking or over processing thoughts um making something out of a molehill like what is that old saying it's like what is that Mm -hmm. they're, <laughs> they're saying something mm -hmm. I don't know what it is I don't say that no more so I don't know why that came to me so with the three of pinnacles Pisces you're definitely working on something you could be working in a group or just by yourself or something you're working on something okay you could be working a lot okay um this person that you could be getting divorced from definitely want to work on the marriage they don't want a divorce um, they do feel that you should, we should talk about it, okay? So take it as a ply. I know that's not for everybody, but uh, Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. If there's some kind of communication this month on a divorce, this uh, separating, okay? And it's a breakup. Could be in a court system going through that. 
I'm so sorry. That's horrible, guys, because that is a lot of wear and tear on the mind, the body, the soul. See what I'm saying? Eight of Swords. Ooh, judgment is here. Okay. Yeah, you could, someone could feel like they're under judgment or like bad things are just happening and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'm getting though someone don't want to work with someone in a marriage relationship or something like that. That it is two people that are living together. Someone's choosing to move out or separate. Something like that's going on or divorce. What is this? Talk to me. What is, what is these cards? Whoa, look at that. Guys, did you guys see that? Wow, that's beautiful. I never had that happen. So we got Ten of Cups. Just know that you're going to be happy. Whoever this message is for. Ten of Cups. This is one of the best cards in the deck. And it all flew. Look at how these all flew out. I'm leaving it just like that. Whoever's going through a hard time, it's over, guys. Whatever this is, it's over. Pisces, you're going to be happy. And you know what, Pisces? This is your energy. You guys are tough. <laughs> Only your reads. You guys get this interesting stuff happening. Look at this. Look how strong you are. Well, you know what? You guys got to match. Yeah, look at this. Okay, you guys are going to have a lot of options here with the five of wands. Hmm. So, yeah, with the five of wands, you guys could be, you know, people could be in competition for you, wanting your time, your love, your affection. It feels like you could do better or something like that. That's what I'm getting or what they're trying to, you know, throw the message across to me, to you guys, is that you can do better. You guys are meeting your match. Okay, Pisces, you guys could definitely be meeting an air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay. Wow. Yeah, you guys are going to hit it off intellectually. A lot of conversating, a lot of talking, feeling like you've known each other forever. This could be a soulmate or twin flame, but you guys are going into another contract. So yeah, that contract might also lead to marriage as well, because we, we do got the Hierophant here. And since all the cards went that way, I'm just reading what's left here. All right. So we got the Ten of Cups behind that strength. This person is coming in this air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or Leo, or a Pisces like you. They're going to be your strength. You're, both of you guys are going to build off of each other's strength is what I'm hearing. Wow. And you're both outspoken, very, um, I'm hearing charismatic. You guys also seek the truth in a situation. Look at how I put them in his, your spot here. All right? Because I am viewing you guys as the queen of swords. You're meeting someone, guys. Pisces, you're meeting someone. Like I said, there could be a Pisces like you with the Ten of Cups, a Leo, or Air, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Nice. So this energy is out of here. It's just lingering a little bit because that's how energy is, guys. It doesn't just, you know, up and vanish one day or something like that. It does wear off. Like, this is going out. This is the energy leaving. Yeah, look at this. Didn't I just tell you guys that? Okay, you guys definitely are going to be getting married again. Not, not this soon, but, you know, you're, someone is divorcing or something. It's not all over. That's what I'm saying, like... Um, just because the marriage end or it felt or something like that. Look what you have coming, Pisces. Your energy, okay? What is the messages for Pisces? And that's what fell on the floor, upright, okay? Messages for Pisces, June 2023. <laughs> Good read, Pisces. All right, someone might be panicking, okay? At the bottom of the deck, Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. We'll split this in a minute. So this is what I was saying before coming out of poverty. Poverty reverse. Here's the Five of Pentacles. All right, it shows me it's been hard financially or something along those lines. Longevity. Yeah, you guys could definitely be going into another marriage. Yeah. Not that fast, though. I'm, you, you know, you're separating. Someone's separating now, but you're going to meet someone that's exactly like you. All right? But you're, go you're going to be married again. Double victory. One in three days. The name Jamie. $5,000. One stop on your body, baby. Mm -hmm. knock, knock you up. Sniff investigator. Ooh, we have ouch. 
This is the one I saw. 1111 Angel Healing, Spiritual Love, Angelic Energy. Okay. It says, I miss your touch, touch plus kiss thinking. I am sad. All right. So someone's definitely up in their head thinking. Okay. Pisces, June 2023. Four of Swords plus Ten of Swords. So someone could have had an accident or surgery. Could have been back surgery or some kind of surgery, guys. Let's see. Someone could also wear glasses. They're showing that. It says, my sexy lady. Beautiful. Pisces, June 2023. It says, I'm sorry I left you. We have number 1313. Pisces, June 2023. Wow. 444, you are protected. And that means everything. Okay, when I wrote everything, it means everything. Everything's protected. This is girl or boy. Congratulations if someone's pregnant. Okay. Um, Pisces, June 2023. Dancer. Fortune, fame, power, glory. Last one for Pisces, 2023. I just thought in Taurus, okay? You guys could be dealing with a Taurus or it could be separated from a Taurus or divorced in a Taurus. Tor there I go again. So they're coming through. Um, Pisces, June, 2023. Last one. Okay. This one doesn't mean nothing to me. I was learning. So um, I wrote all these down. So I will just take the next card behind that. Or I will split again, but I will look. Oh, it's nothing. Wow, guys. All right, sacrifice. But I will do another one, all right? It says two love messages. Okay. Pisces, another one, the last one for June 2023. It says, do you know I still love you? Okay, this one says kings and queens, rulers of the land and people. And that's the energy I get with that king and queen of swords that we're seeing right away. Um, like I told you, your soulmate is going to be an air energy. Okay, so he might be in some kind of power of authority. Um, after you meet him or start talking to him, you're going to find out that he's over something or... Some type of um, authority figure or energy here. Okay, Pisces, June 2023. We have Gemini. We have Mars energy, which is the first house placement. And it talks about um, Aries energy, okay? So Mars rules over Aries energy. First house talks about appearances, looks, how people, how you are perceiving yourself, like how your looks are, okay, appearance. Number five, rune message for Pisces, June 2023. Hmm. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. If you're not happy right now, you will be later. All right, guys, that's what this is showing me. I've never seen that happen before, but it's meant for you guys to see that, so... They're saying you're going to be happy. That's what it's showing me. Ten of Cups is such a great card, guys. Yeah. Nope. This is... Which rune is this one? Yeah. Joy, success, peace, fellowship. You guys see it? That's what's coming towards you guys. Joy, success, peace, and fellowship. Beautiful, Pisces. So that's all I have for you guys. Until next time, take care.